Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and I want to talk about a pretty cool animal that's behind the scenes that you don't get to see that often and it's these guys right here, Zavobus morio or like I like to call them, super worms. These guys are crazy and honestly, maybe even a little creepy. So what's cool is that these guys are larvae, which is which baby, basically means they're a baby bug or insect. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna pupate and they're gonna turn into what's called a darkling beetle. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, let's talk about these guys. Now, these guys, of course, they're here at the zoo because they are actually food items for our animals. Don't tell them that. Luckily, they don't hear very well. But they are gonna be food for our, our lizards and even our kookaburra. But the the cool thing about these guys is that, well, first of all, they do have six legs. You can see them crawl in there and then they drag this essentially what kind of looks like a tail behind them. But the thing about them is they've got some pretty powerful mandibles or, or, or kind of like pincers, almost like a scorpion. Uh, and, and what they'll do is they can actually bite with those. They can actually inflict a pretty painful bite. And so when you handle these guys, you want to be careful. But even more importantly, you want to be careful when you do give them to your pets, especially your lizards and what have you, because believe it or not, they can inflict injury on those animals. Now, most animals pretty good about combating that and getting around it, but just something to note. Now, the other neat thing about them, as I was telling you, is what they turn into. And now here at the zoo, we keep them in this colony all together. And the weird thing is, as long as these guys are together and they're within body contact of each other, they will not turn into the beetle that they can turn into. But if they are left alone, and sometimes some of our animals miss them and they get loose and we find them in the, in the zoo or even sometimes in their habitats. If they're left alone, after about five to seven days, they will then pupate into the darkling beetle, which is what you see here crawling around pretty fast. Now, the cool thing about these beetles is they're found everywhere, really around the world. In fact, there's 15,000 different species of darkling beetle. A lot of them we don't even have a lot of information about. But here in the United States, there's about 1,300 of them, including the ones we can find here in Montana. The neat thing about these beetles is the fact that they actually are sometimes called the clown beetle because when they're upset or they're, they're, they're scared, they're going to actually flip on their head and they spin around in circles. It's goofy looking. And on top of that, they also can emit a very stinky smell. And so a lot of times they're called a stink beetle. And as you can imagine, that is a self-defense as well. But the problem with these beetles and these worms is that they can cause havoc in an environment. They can actually be agricultural pests and destroy crops and so we want to keep a handle on these guys and here at the zoo we, we want to make sure they're contained so they don't get out on grounds and cause problems here on our grounds but anyway nonetheless what a cool little animal again called a super worm a lot of people call them this uh, their, their scientific name is a sephoris mobia uh, but nonetheless what a neat little critter they are and like i said even a little creepy guys until next time i'm jeff the nature guy here at zoo montana ouch